Welcome to the Invite Health Podcast, where our degreed healthcare professionals are excited to offer you the most important health and wellness information you need to make informed choices about your health. You can learn more about the products discussed in each of these episodes and all that Invite Health has to offer at www.invitehealth.com slash podcast. First time customers can use promo code podcast at checkout for an additional 15% off your first purchase. Let's get started. Welcome to another podcast at Invite Health. Today we'll be talking about bromelain and the numerous benefits the supplement has been studied to have. My name is Melissa Bistrasser and I am a registered dietitian. I am so excited to bring to you the nutritional aspect of the nutrients here at Invite Health. Nutrition food for thought. Every time you eat or drink, you are either feeding or fighting a disease. Remember, having a healthy, balanced diet does matter. Invite Health promotes an integrative approach in providing vitamins into your daily life to increase your quality of life. In conjunction with nutrients, it is also important to learn and include other lifestyle modifications like nutrition, exercise, and sleep. These practices with the use of vitamins will promote optimal benefits in your daily life. Now let's get on to the topic of bromelain and why we should have a bottle on hand at all times. Don't forget that bromelain is naturally found in pineapple. Bromelain is a proteolytic enzyme generally found in the stems of pineapple. Though pineapple does contain citric acid, which may contribute to discomfort, the acid is not the main culprit here though. Pineapple is the only fruit that contains bromelain, which helps to digest proteins. Do you ever feel like when you're eating raw pineapple it hurts to eat? Well, that is simply because the bromelain is digesting the tender skin inside your mouth. Pineapple is known to be a great tenderizer for meats due to the enzyme bromelain has which softens the muscle fibers. The protein in the meat is broken down and increases meat's potential to absorb moisture. This is the reason why pineapple is a preferred method to tenderize meats. Don't think just because you eat some pineapple on pizza you will get all the benefits because there's so little on it it won't be effective enough. Wait, isn't this a controversial topic? Do you eat your pizza with pineapple? Well, I personally don't like it, but who's asking me anyways? Now let's not get into politics of pizza and pineapple. Let's get back into the scientific part. In the body, the proteolytic enzyme stimulates the body's digestive process to support digestion by breaking down proteins into smaller components. The proteolytic enzymes are called cysteine proteinase, which is the breakdown of protein to help digest foods. It can also help combat diarrhea. The thought is is that it can counteract the effects of intestinal pathogens such as Vibrio or E. coli. Ever have a really, really heavy meal? Like, imagine on Thanksgiving when you feast over that turkey, the gravy, the stuffing, oh, and sweet potato pie too. You may feel slightly bloated. Therefore, just taking one to two capsules of the bromelain can help break down the proteins and the heavy feeling in your stomach. Bromelain also has other beneficial components such as helping acute inflammation, headaches, or even if you twist your ankle and need some relief. Instead of taking the nine steroidal anti-inflammatories called NSAIDs, which can cause potential liver and kidney damage in the future. Unfortunately, Americans generally turn to NSAIDs or prescription drugs as they are the only effective remedies for common disorders. Although studies have been showing that natural therapies rather than medications for arthritis have been effective, there has been evidence to prove that the drugs for arthritis such as Vioxx and Bextrol were later withdrawn due to lethal adverse reaction. In hindsight, enzymes have a warning about potential to increase risks for heart attacks and stroke with their use. Medical history has been advancing and several natural alternatives have been seen to work with no side effects. Bromelain has been one of those anti-inflammatory nutrients that have been overlooked in the past. Bromelain has been one of those anti-inflammatory nutrients that have been overlooked in the past. Bromelain-based formulations have been clinically studied to show more effective benefits than anti-inflammatory prescription drugs to relieve pain and inflammation. A general overall beneficial supplement to have always in your medicine cabin to turn to rather than Advil, Motrin, or Aleve is bromelain. 
pain reliever drugs either prescribed or brought over the counter that can lead to other chronic complications such as gastric ulcers or liver kidney damage. Bromelain has powerful proteolytic enzymes, which again benefits digestive enhancement. Athletes have used bromelain as well to help manage joint injuries. Those undergoing surgery used to speed recovery time. Bromelain has a powerful proteolytic enzyme, which again benefits digestive enhancement. Athletes have used bromelain as well to help manage joint injuries and those undergoing surgery used to speed recovery time. The use of bromelain on reducing the pain of osteoarthritis, recent studies from, from Germany on 90 patients who suffer from osteoarthritis of the hip. The study is a randomized controlled trial with half the participants receiving a bromelain supplement and other receiving an anti-inflammatory drug called diclofenac. The results indicated that the use of bromelain be, may be beneficial in treatment of patients with osteoarthritis of the hip with signs of inflammation to help with high pain levels. Other studies have resulted in the same outcome comparing bromelain with, the, with diclofenac. The patient also reported decreased joint tenderness, pain, swelling, and improvement of motion at the end of the day. In another research study from the United Kingdom from a three-month study looked at the effectiveness of the dose of bromelain. There was one group that was receiving 200 milligrams of bromelain and one group that was receiving 400 milligrams of bromelain. The participants had mild acute pain. When they were given the 200 milligrams, there was a 41% decrease of pain. And when given 400 milligrams of bromelain, there was a 59% decrease in pain. With the higher dose of 400 milligrams of bromelain, it was observed to help the stiffness and physical function. Though the study also indicated that bromelain is also effective in improving general well-being in healthy individuals who suffer from mild knee pain. Evidence-based complementary alternative medicine demonstrates that bromelain supports joint health. Bromelain has been shown to have numerous therapeutic benefits to support lungs and joint. It also regulates prolastaglandin levels, the sign of chronic inflammation, therefore helping to provide comfort and joint modulation of certain immune cells to support respiratory health. Bromelain has also been helpful in healing minor injuries such as sprains, stains, and other traumas. Bromelain has also helped to speed up surgical health to support pain relief. A study was completed with a combination of bromelain, tripsine, and rutrocide on individuals taking the supplements two weeks following surgery for a fixed fracture. The group that received the bromelain has positive reduction in post-operative swelling. At Mount Sinai, they have completed research as well determining that bromelain has a multitude of benefits such as treating indigestion and reducing inflammation. There even has been evidence that bromelain has helped with inflammatory bowel disease such as ulcerative colitis, which can be caused by cramping, pain, diarrhea, and weight loss. The Annuals of Internal Medicine has published reports on two individuals who suffered from ulcerative colitis, which have not yet benefited from any conventional therapy but have benefited from bromelain supplementation. Bromelain helps relieve symptoms such as frequent diarrhea. Further investigation on the use of bromelain on inflammatory bowel disorders, according to North Carolina's Duke University, needs to be studied to fully understand and assess the use of bromelain on inflammatory bowel disorders. Biomedical reports that bromelain is safe and successful for therapeutic use worldwide for conditions such as bronchitis, sinusitis, arthritis, and inflammation. Sinusitis is the painful inflammation of sinuses cavities that cause, bac cause bacterial, fungal, or viral infections. A recent study showed that bromelain has multiple benefits on sinuses health by thinning the nasal secretions and inhibiting the production of inflammatory pro glandins. The German Commission E actually approved bromelain to treat swelling and inflammation after surgeries, specifically sinus surgeries. Bromelain has also been effective for skin disorders called pityriasis lichenoid chronica, which is a skin disease that is caused by the development of small scaling raised spots on the skin. This disorder has no clinically proven treatment, but a study was completed on several individuals given a bromelain supplement with complete recovery and no adverse effects. It has properties of immunomodulatory and anti-neoplastic effects to help with anti-inflammation and antimicrobial effects. 
Lastly, probably the most exciting news that research has been coming out with suggesting that the use of bromelain and the effects it has on anti-cancer therapeutic agents. A recent study was conducted on mice to assess the use of bromelain on anti-cancer effects. Further research still has to be completed to see the use of bromelain in anti-cancer therapy. The bromelain can work through several mechanisms though, including inhibiting the tumor growth, de decreasing tumor growth, and boosting the immune systems in anti-cancer activity. With all the benefits, it is also important to note that there are some safety cautions to be aware of. If you have an allergy to pineapple or pineapple juice, bromelain should not be taken. Be aware certain prescribed medications may interact with taking bromelain. Make sure to talk to a healthcare provider if taking any prescribed medications. Well, lastly, bromelain, as mentioned, does come from pineapples, but don't think you can eat an entire pineapple as it will not be enough to be effective. That's why I have the bromelain supplement sold at invitehealth.com, so go check it out. Take charge of your health today and talk with one of our healthcare providers about any complementary health approaches to use. Together, we can make a shared, well-informed decision for you. If you have any further questions, you are always welcome to chat with me as a nutritionist or any of our other healthcare providers to assist you at invitehealth.com. Or you can email me directly at mbistrisser at invitehealth.com. That's M, B as in boy, I S T R I C E R at invitehealth.com. I am Melissa Bistrisser, RDN, ready to share the knowledge to help you modify your lifestyle to live a happier, more successful life. I am looking forward to continuing to provide you with educational podcasts and blog posts. Again, nutrition, food for thought. Every time you eat or drink, you are either feeding or fighting the disease. Remember, having a healthy, balanced diet does matter. Have a great day and tune in for the next podcast coming to you soon.